Good morning, everyone. So we're gonna go through with our daily stand up. Like always, any volunteers who would like to speak about uh, the application process that we have been preparing so far. Mm. Yesterday's submission, how was it? So uh, if you can. We hope you feel better than us. So I'll be leading today's session. So uh, raise your hand and share us how you guys are feeling. Okay, I guess maybe I could call names. Um, Sheila, if you can. Yeah, say something about can you hear me, Sheila? Yes. Oh, could you just tell us how are how you are how are you feeling with your application materials? The submission yesterday submission, how was it? Um, okay. Um, hi, good morning. Good morning. So um, about my application material readiness, I I feel like everything is okay apart from my apart from my portfolio. I didn't manage to do the video. I keep working on it and deleting it. But I was supposed I'm supposed to finish it by this week. So the portfolio video. But when it comes to my LinkedIn and my when it comes to my LinkedIn and oh yeah, my LinkedIn uh, and the GitHub oh and my CV as well. I think those ones are they're okay because I fixed them according to the feedback I got. Then also um, I did not submit the company study challenge yesterday because we were like we were told that we can submit them today because of the tanks platform. Then, yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to technical challenges to upskill during the job search phase. And also, um, yesterday I didn't manage to attend the standard, but um, I wanted to say, like, I applied to a job. I was recommended to by Margaret, so I, I applied to Net Guardians. And yeah, that's what I have done so far. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Sheila, for the detailed sharing. We will appreciate that. Uh, next person, Enoch, right? Yeah, Enoch. Okay, uh, good morning. Uh, I've, uh, I, I've been working on uh, mostly just doing some of uh, the past projects, like looking at them and trying to do things that I missed. How about your application readiness? Uh, I have prepared all the materials. Uh, like Sheila, I, I have not made a video. Uh, I, think, I think that's the only thing that's missing. Okay, so uh, which challenges uh, are you working on improving? Um, uh, I, I am trying to work on like uh, I haven't started it because like the rug part I don't know if uh, the free version the free API of the like the the one chat GPT gives you I, I don't know if it's capable of doing it um, yeah. uh, you can reach out to forget that I think you can help with that one okay that that would be great so next week there will be challenges uh, to just up the skill your uh, skills on your particular track. Uh, are you ready for that, Enoch? Thank you. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, great. Okay, thank you for sharing. Okay. Daisy. Thank you. 
Uh, hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, I worked, on, I worked on the two company study challenges. Uh, yeah, so I'm ready to submit those today. And I also made some more connections on LinkedIn. And also my application materials are ready. Yeah. Oh, great. Which companies do you, did you choose today? Did I chose them? Them? for the company study. Okay, good. Yeah, which I companies? NetGuardians and Dalberg Data Insights. Where are they based? Uh, they're global, but they also have offices in Kenya. Great. So your application readiness is good, right? And you're ready for next week challenge? Yes, yes, yes they're ready. OK, great. Uh, Javi, you can take over. Hello, good morning. Uh, uh, I already submitted my application materials. Uh, I think I did everything uh, and I tried to uh, modify it based on the comments. So I, I submitted everything uh, last time. So I, I, uh, I think it's finished. Uh, the other thing about the uh, company study challenge, I already chose one company which is called Clarify. It's, uh, they have a global presence and i'm looking into them and also i'm gonna check another company uh, for today's submission okay, uh, great. yes and, uh, okay go ahead okay yeah for the technical challenge yes yes i'm ready for the uh, what were you okay great uh, were you going to say something? I interrupted you. No, I was just uh, going to say it about the, this technical challenge. I'm going to say I was ready. I am ready. Okay, what about your GitHub projects? Uh, have you work started on structuring them, initial projects, initially those projects on your track? Uh, yes, I... Uh, did uh, like the readme part the directory uh, naming the directory properly the, all that thing that things i did but i want to do all the other things like the docker dockerizing everything uh, and uh, putting uh, ci cd send uh, that's uh, i'm planning to do this week okay thank you Abu Bakr. Okay, good, good morning, everyone. So, uh, yeah, so I actually didn't do that much. I was just uh, refining my GitHub, trying to see where I can make it uh, better. So I was seeing why my CICD failed. So, yeah, uh, that's after that, I actually, yeah, I actually did something on a, a small part of the company challenge. So yeah, probably I will submit today. So I'm also trying to work, uh, like f finalize on my week 12 project so that I can make it better. Yeah, that's, that's it. So I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to the technical challenge. Uh, what they could be. So I have some ideas on what they are, but I want to see that. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Walker. Uh, you're silent. See here. You are silent. I don't think she's on the call. Um, Joseph? Okay. 
Chief, can you hear us? Can you hear me? Okay, so if you can speak up, Joseph, could you please write your your progress on the chat? Okay, let's move on to Thomas again. Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, so uh, yesterday I was uh, doing some projects and uh, upskilling my skills, and uh, I was trying to figure out uh, a ways to better my GitHub repos. And uh, I was making plans to uh, redo some, some of the projects, if not just improve. Uh, so I checked the, the challenge, the 10x platform, and the chat, the submission was not there. I don't know. I don't remember what time I checked, but it was not available. So I assumed the company study was for today. So I didn't submit that. So I'm I'll be doing that this morning. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to for the technical challenge in the leap platform if it is available. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Um, anyone who can volunteer, those of you who haven't spoke. Okay, Hilary. Good morning, everyone. Um, so morning. yesterday, uh, I didn't submit the, uh, I wasn't able to, I looked in at some point, but I wasn't, uh there wasn't um aware to submit so and received the message that we can submit today so i chose uh cohere anthropic and um i'm here to decide on another, another company um and then uh the, i'm looking forward to the technical challenges and what one thing uh like one challenge i, I wanted to work on is rag at uh, in the other in the past projects we worked on yeah i'd like to implement the findings and the uh the, the different optimizations i found and test them out over the uh like abram like the open ai api key is uh is an uh is what i had an issue with i was exploring something else like gemini but i'd look I'll maybe contact the team on that, and then, uh, yeah, I've my my mat application materials are ready, except on portfolio. I'm working. I'm like I'm hoping to work on the. I'm trying to work on the video. Hopefully, I'll get that done. And my LinkedIn, everything else is is good for so now. Great. You can reach out to Fukushima. On the open air key issue part. So make sure also to update your medium if you change on your projects improvement, new algorithms, and everything. It's also updated on your medium report. Okay. Abdurrahman. Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, uh... I didn't do too much uh, because it was raining and uh, there is a power cut, but uh, I did the company study. Uh, it's a company called uh, Globant. Uh, it uh, provides IT services in many fields. Okay. Uh, also, uh, for my profiles, uh, I think they are good, but uh, I have some plan to, to the future to make it better. But uh, for now, I think it's uh, satisfying. Uh, for GitHub, uh, I did the readme for uh, the projects I worked on uh, alone. Uh, but uh, I think I need to refine most of them. So 
this is will take me a time. My plan is uh, to take uh, a project every week. I'm not sure if this is a good plan for doing this or should I I work on many projects uh, at the same time to make it look better and then giving deep uh, each week. Uh, you can advise me on this. I think this is all. Okay. So already have. Uh, I mean, finishing up a project if they are really undone, starting at the same time can be hard. You can focus on one project, but as for structuring it, um, do the automation part to the authorization and stuff. You can do all of them at the same time. I, I think it is possible to do that. But finishing up, it is just. It, it can be hard to do all of them at the same time. Don't focus on one project for that one. Well. At least make sure it is presentable and you uh, go with finishing up the project based on your time schedule. Uh, but also make sure your the projects that are more related to the track that you choose uh, get priority in finishing up the project. Make sure to start from there. Okay, uh, is that clear up, Rahman? Great. Right. Mm, and next person who I've spoke later to him, I, I haven't heard from you. You can share something, say something. Good morning, everyone. So yesterday, okay. So yesterday, I I did the company challenge. So the company that I chose to work on was Go Here, uh, but I didn't submit uh, because the platform wasn't up. And I was also trying to go back and revise some of my projects and uh, trying to improve on them because some of them lack in many many areas. So I was also trying to look on those and for my application materials i had uh, edited them so i think i am submitted them and i think uh, they're almost ready but uh, i'm open to further further refinements and that's all i have okay great so are you ready for next week After Yes, I think I'm ready. Okay, great. So try to finishing up your tasks as much as you can, so you can have free time on focusing the next challenge on the next challenge. Okay, so next person, uh, Michael. Hey, good morning. Uh, yesterday, I was taking a course on Coursera, deep learning course. Uh, and uh, I was refining my projects as well. Yeah, that's all, thank you. What about the company study? Okay, I, I chose the scale, scale AI company, so I was working on it, but there was power cut, so I didn't finish it. Uh, I'll finish it today. Thank you, Michael. Uh, Malaku? Hello, good morning. Good morning. So, uh, uh, I've been off the past week due to some uh, personal issues. So, uh, I've been updating my portfolio since this week and I've been updating the feedback on my CV and uh, yeah, that's what I, I did this week. So I'm, I'm planning to, you know, catch up and improve uh, in the coming uh, week. So the application readiness is, how much is left? So if you put it in percent to say it. Yep. The, can you can you repeat that? If you give it a percent your applications, how ready yeah. are they? 
uh, it's almost uh, like 70% prepared. Yeah, I'll say 70%. So I'm, I'm working on them, so I'm planning to like uh, finish as soon as possible. Yeah, try to do that, just not to take your time from next week. Okay. Thank you, Malaku. Um, Mister? Yes, uh, so yesterday I was working on uh, the challenge from week three. Uh, I think it's very important for me to work on that because it aligns with my track choice and I want to include this on my portfolio project. So currently I'm focusing on that. Uh, and yeah, there was a power outage in my place too, so I wasn't able to do a lot, but uh, yeah, I've been working on that one for most. Yeah, which project did you say you are working on? Uh, week three, the read dash chat add -on. Okay. So, and for my application materials, I think they are uh, ready. I'm just waiting for another feedback if there is any. I'll just improve them. But uh, uh, according to the feedbacks that were given, I I think I have finished everything. Great. So yeah, I, we can say you are ready for next week, right? Yes, sir. Great, thank you. Grace, can you speak up? Yes, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, uh, I think my application materials are mostly ready. I didn't do the the recording of the video. Still not very confident with my video, but I think it should be good. The portfolio as it is. Uh, my medium, I still haven't published anything yet. Yeah, I didn't do the company studies yesterday. I will be working on them today. So what about your GitHub project? Are you have a plan for that one? To Yes, I well, refined a little bit. I refined a little mm -hmm. bit of the readmes, but I should be working. I should be improving on most of my projects. I'm not sure how I'll distribute that, but I will work on them. Yeah, uh, for now, finishing a project can take time, so just make sure at least it is structured properly based on the tutorial we're, we're given, and do some time management to finish up. up as much as you can on this week after most of the work. Okay? Okay. okay. Thank you, Grace. I think the only one left is Neamusi, so if you can speak up, Neamusi. Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, for me, yesterday, also, I was not able to do much. But uh, today I plan on working on the company study. I plan on company I plan on working on is Met Guardians. Then I'm looking for another company to work on. As for my application material, I think they're ready apart from the final touches in my profile. So my GitHub and my LinkedIn, all of them are ready. And um, I was not able to make this submission today, but hopefully I'll be ready to make Okay, thank you. Now, see you are ready for next week. I think uh, I'm excited for next week, actually. Okay, right. Thank you. Now, see, uh, Mister. Uh, about the medium, uh, I've only published two blog posts so far. So, um, how often do you recommend to publish posts? like once in a week twice or how often is it i mean if you have something to say to write on medium every day is also better just if you have any solid thing to publish you should do it more often yeah i just want to uh, to write about the projects the projects yeah the, the projects we've been working on i mean they're all uh, ready but i wasn't like focused on posting them media you should write 
uh, articles on the media and on, post on all of that. OK, maybe uh, in two days, one post. Uh, you, I, I'm sorry, are you asking when you should do them or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, how often should I do that? Like, should I post them daily, consecutively for the coming week or? These are joint projects, right? Yeah. So it's better if you do them, if you publish them based on your capability every day until you finished all of them. How, ma how many projects are? I have like around five or six. Yeah, I think you can publish two at any day. If you already know, I think you already know how the project works. It's just you're putting the process right on the media. Yeah. So I think you can manage to in a day and you can finish up publishing in this week if you don't have other works. Uh, but you can post more than three of them next week as well. Okay, you can do that. Okay, sure. Because these are done projects, it will be easier to write about them. That's why. Yes, yes. So, uh, if there are no more questions, we can pass it to Abdul Hamid for the announcement. Hi, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Can you hear me well? Yes, we can hear you. So, today we have an announcement regarding LIP. I will be typing see you are ready on the chat box so that you can you guys can go and check um so this is our first experimental version we want you guys to start exploring leap um so i'll just share my screen and show you guys Is my screen visible? Uh, yes, it is. OK. So here on Leap, um, I'm on Leap. And once you log in with your account, an academy account, you should be uh, having this layout where there is a job. Uh, here you have a feedback collection area. So if you want to, here uh, on the below, you have certain buttons which you can interact with. For example, you can skip this job, you can like this job, you can super like this job. So, but before you can do any of this, you'll have to give uh, feedback here. If you don't wish to give a feedback, you can turn this switch on and you can just skip this job. But if you want to like or super like, you have to at least give a single feedback here. So once you give a feedback, you can either like this job or super like this job. So what's the difference between like and super like? If you super like a job and this job has a match score which is greater than 80 percent with your profile you can see the match score here then this will automatically generate a cv and the cover letter for you but if the match score is less than 80 percent uh, and if you super like a job there won't be anything happening if you like a job there won't be any generation it will just be uh, available here in my job section where you can look at uh, your uh, reactions to the jobs. So you have two tabs here, engagement and lift. So in engagement, you have every single reactions for the job that's coming. If you, if you for example, say skip, if you say like or super like, you'll be having them uh, available here. On the lift tab, you'll have uh, jobs in which the CV or cover letter has been generated for that job. But for that to happen, you'd have to uh, super like a job and also have at least 80, greater than 80% match score. So before the, before all of this, we want you guys to go to your profile. Here you have the profile tab, and you'll be uploading your profile. So the way you'll be uploading your profile is going to be, um, you'll go to LinkedIn. Um, here I have LinkedIn open. And you'll have this extension installed. I'll be sending the extension now. Uh, yes, so you'll be providing the same email and password as Linux. Um, 
and so the extension is this one. So you'd be uh, installing this extension, and once you have installed the extension, you'd go to your LinkedIn profile. This is your profile. Make sure you are on your profile page. Then once you are on your profile page, you'll go to your extensions and to the JSON resume exporter uh, extension, and you'd click on LinkedIn profile to JSON. Then you'd have this JSON file. You'd copy this JSON file. You'd go back to Leap, and you'd be uploading or testing this uh, profile and you select upload say. and once you do this we would have your profile and you then start suggesting jobs to you so before any of these jobs come you would need to first upload your profile then you'd start seeing the jobs that are here so you can then interact with the jobs as i said before this is an experimental version we want you guys to start exploring it and uh, have some sense of how it works uh, some of the jobs are a bit old and uh, maybe the application timeline has passed, but we want you guys to actually just explore Lip and get used to what uh, we have built. In the meantime, uh, if you find a job that actually uh, you like, we want you to start applying from today. So from today to today onwards, be it either on Lip or any other place, or LinkedIn, Upwork, or any other place, we want you to start applying today. So if you find a job that you like and the timeline hasn't passed and you can still apply for that job, then great, apply for that job using Lit. But uh, if you don't find such a job, and uh, then you can go to LinkedIn or any other, uh, Glassdoor, uh, Zipri Twitter, uh, Indeed, these are such, such, such sites, uh, such kind of sites that you can go and apply for jobs. So uh, either way, we want you guys to start applying to jobs starting from today. This is the first experimental version of Flip, and you may expect some breaking changes along the way, but we want you to at least start exploring Flip. and if you have any patients, you can uh, raise them. We'll be sharing with you a navigation document so that uh, what I said right now is a bit more clearer. The navigation document uh, puts every, every aspect of what you'll be finding on Flip in a much more clear and detailed way. So we'll be sharing that with you guys as well. So today you'll start exploring Lip, and you'll also be starting applying to jobs. Again, if you do find a job on Lip that isn't uh, old and you had the job, apply to that job. If you don't find such kind of jobs, then we want you to go to LinkedIn or uh, any other sites and start applying to jobs. So uh, from today onwards, we'll be applying to at least at least a minimum of 10 jobs. Uh, per day. So that's all. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be answering them. Yes, uh, Joseph. Oh, yes. Could you kindly repeat the demonstration from the LinkedIn uh, extension? Yeah, I'll be sharing you um, a video for that as well. You have a video. Yeah. The extension uh, has a video on how to do the export but just to show you again you go to your profile make sure you are on your profile then once you are on your profile uh, you go to your extensions tab select the extension you have downloaded json resume exporter apps i have uh, sent you the link on the chat so yes joseph no 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 continue continue sorry okay so you'll go to the extension, you would select the extension, and you would click here, LinkedIn Profile to JSON. Then you would have this uh, JSON file, you copy this JSON file. Then you would go to Leap, and on your profile here, you have, you have a profile tab here, and you'd go to Upload Profile, and you'd paste what you copied uh, here, and select Upload. So once you do that, you'd start getting jobs on your All Jobs tab, and you can start exploring from there on. Um, have I answered the question? Don't worry, we'll be sharing you with uh, a video on how to export and also yes, the application document. Okay. Um, but then, can you write down the sites here, the application sites? All right. So you can go with LinkedIn, Beat, Chip, Maybe glass door as well. Okay. Um, Hilary, yes. 
yeah what i meant okay in that question like uh we what does what sleep does is cv generate and uh up to that point uh it's still our responsibility if the job has on as the place of application like they, they redirect you maybe to their site to continue the application so uh, i mean it's still our responsibility to do that or there's yeah. a company on that side yeah, so if you are going to apply to a job you find on leap leap would generate a cv for that job for you but for that to happen there must be two conditions satisfied so the first condition is you must super like the job the second condition is your match score should be greater than 80 percent so here you see it's 49 percent even if I do super like this job, it's, going, it's not going to generate CV and cover data for me because the match score is less than 40, less than 80 percent. So, if those two conditions uh, are satisfied, you can find the generated assets on your My Jobs tab and then on Lipt. Currently, we don't have any, but if you do super like a job and have at least 80 percent of the match score for that job, you find the cv is the cv and also the cover letter here so this is if you are applying through leap but if you are applying through any other sites that i mentioned here on linkedin um indeed the future and other sites we'd have to uh you'd have to use the cv you have been working on currently or maybe you can manually change or edit and update the cv in the uh, cover data so that it matches the job you are applying Uh, Hilary, is it clear? So, as time goes on, LIP would uh, get better and uh, you'd be applying more jobs on LIP. But for the time being, we want you to start exploring LIP and also apply uh, on other sites as well. Yes, Abdurrahman. Sorry, my internet was breaking. Uh, I didn't get this point. Can you repeat it, please? Which uh, point? question. Uh, oh, okay. The answer of Hillary question. Are you are. Okay. Okay. So Hillary asked if we can, if we are going to use um, a CV that we created manually, or is, are we going to be using a CV that's going to be generated by Lip? So if you are going to be applying to a job that is uh, on Lip, that you find on Lip, and two conditions are satisfied, which is you super like that job, and also the match score is less than eighty percent, then you'll find the generated CVs and also the cover letters here on your lips tab. But if those two conditions do not apply, and also if you don't find a job that you like on lip, then you can go and uh, look for jobs on LinkedIn on uh, these sites I mentioned here. And also, once you find a job, you, you then go to the application, and on the application stage, you'll be asked to provide CV and cover letter. So you'll be using the CV and the cover letters that uh, you have been working on uh, with the career teams. So you can update that CV and cover letter to match the job manually. Uh, that was my answer. Yes, Hilary. Uh, OK, yeah. actually, I have, I have another question. Uh, sorry, Hilary. Go ahead. Uh, OK, Hilary, go ahead. Okay, okay my question was uh um it, like it, it's it don't like lip only does the cv generation right or uh, it because i uh i believe like sites have different so we just take the cv and go apply manually on that site and does and like how do we that does the like the job section show us the link where to apply yeah where you can apply uh, yeah job showcase awesome. there yeah, so some jobs currently do not have the application links, but some do. So in this case, we are currently, uh, if you click this view details link, since it doesn't have the application link currently, it won't take you to the job. But there are other jobs that do have the link. And when you click on the view details button here, see, yeah, some of the jobs are not currently bringing the application links. But you should, you should, you'll be, you'll be able to find some jobs to have those application links. And if you click on that application link, it should take you to the application page of that uh, job, which is going to be either on LinkedIn or any any of the uh, 
uh, place a job was uh, scraped from. So if you, if you go there and then tasks for the CV and the cover letter, then if you do have that generated on NIP, you'll be using that. But if, if you are going to be manually applying to jobs, you'll be, uh, you, you already have a CV and cover letter that you have been working on, yet, right? So you'll be using that to apply to jobs manually, but uh, you, you, can, you can make updates to those uh, materials so that it fits the job. Is it clear, Hilary, or? Yeah, yeah, it's clear. It's clear. All right, thank you. Abdurrahman, you can continue. Yes, Abdurrahman, are you speaking? Okay, let's go to Michael. Okay, so can you explain about the match, the match score, like the overall match score? In minus say 33, so what does that mean? Yeah, so the match score is currently being calculated based on the data that we have on you. So you have been on the training phase for the past 12 weeks, and we have the grades uh, and many other competencies. So we'll be calculating uh, those. Uh, I'll go through the profile and show you the skills section. So here we have multiple competencies. So currently, I'm showing you uh, a profile for Yabi. So Yabi currently has the following competencies. We have around 15 competencies. And for each 50, for each competencies, there is a sphere level assigned. So the sphere level is going to range from 1 to 4, 1 being the lowest, and uh, actually 1 to 7, 1 being the lowest, and 7 being the highest. But uh, 7 is a very high level, so we won't be giving 7. We'll be ranging from 1 to 4. So for each competency, we have a certain sphere level. Here we have for programming language, sphere level is four. For data engineering, sphere level is one. So uh, this, this will be calculated based on your 12 weeks performance. So once we have this, this is for your profile, then the same thing happens for a job. So we'll be calculating a sphere level for the job. I will be showing you the competency. So here we have a data analyst competency, and the sphere level is four. So based on this, uh, two uh, sphere levels that we have, the sphere level on your profile and the sphere level required by the job, we will then calculate the match score. So the match score is going to depend on those two. And then based on that, that match score, we'll be able to either have a higher match score, which is greater than 80%, so that you can have the CV and cover letter generated, or you'll be seeing a, a lower match score so that you won't be able to uh, generate those materials. Michael, is, is it clear? So to apply in this job, the, the score should, should be 80, right? Not necessarily to apply. You can still apply to a job that you have a lower match score, but we won't be uh, providing you with automatically generated assets, which are cover letters and CVs. If you see a job and you see that, you think that you are a good fit regardless of the match score, you can still apply to that job but you'll be uh, using your own CVs. Uh, the NIP won't be creating the CV and the uh, cover letter. So if you want to apply, you can still apply. Uh, if you think it's a good job for you, uh, regardless of what so much score is saying, but the system won't be creating the application materials for you, you'd have to do that yourself. Okay, Michael, is it clear? I hope it is. Yes, Hilary. thank you. Okay, okay. Hilary. Okay, so I've been putting my hand um, on skills like general systems. Uh, I have like some, maybe like, can I upload some evidence the, the, the way you say it, but when I'm trying this, the sources is empty currently and uh, so yeah. could you uh, you could you like tell us or can we like how, what 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 did you use to evaluate that one? And then the the second thing is uh when I I can't see my the links like the GitHub and uh on my profile my profile details. So how do I add to? Is there a way to add it to GitHub so uh, to LinkedIn so that it can be 
important as well. Uh, like some of the necessary links I should have in my CV. I think you are saying on your profile section, you are not seeing uh, GitHub and other links here. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So we'll be uh, we'll be taking those data from the CV that you guys have been working on currently. So the data that you are seeing here is going to be exported from LinkedIn, but additional data such as your uh, other links, your other social media links will be taken from CV. So that's currently a work under progress, and those additional uh, data would be uh, available soon. Um, regarding uh, your skills, if you upload uh, your profile and you see a skill that is currently not uh, up, to the, up to standard or you think that you have uh, you have been graded in a lower uh, in a lower uh, what what do you call it in a lower sphere level. You can upload an evidence here, so you can select uh, any any link you have. So if you have a link for a GitHub project, maybe you did, and you think that that uh, project you know, demonstrates your uh, your your expertise in that uh, in that competency, then you can upload that project, and we would look at your um, evidence and if you if we think it's valid then we'll increase your uh, sphere level based on the evidence that you provide but currently this skill is going to be uh, going to be imported from the LinkedIn profile that you guys are going to be uploading and also it will be updated uh, promptly as as we are currently checking with the match score if the CR level that is going to be that's currently assigned to each trainee actually does align with the performance that you guys have uh, have been showing for the past 12 weeks. So that will also be uh, that will also be getting updated through time. But now we just want you to actually explore LIP and see the system that you have built and just get familiar with it. It will be uh, it will be improving through the coming days and weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Abdurrahman, do you have any question? Yeah, uh, I have a question. Uh, can, can I apply from uh, the leap directly or like it have uh, a quick apply feature or should I go to the website of the company? Yeah, so there is going to be a link to the job. Some jobs currently do not have the links, but if you see here, there is a view details button. And when you click this button, it should take you to the application uh, website that's dedicated to that job. So you won't be able to quickly apply uh, directly on LIP. LIP will just give you, we just be a gateway to that job so that you can directly go to that job and then apply it here. Is it clear, Rahman? Yeah, it's clear. Thank you. Thanks, Yeah. Hi. Uh, so I might uh, take you a step backward. I I didn't get the the profile update uh, part. So ca can you show us? Can you show me one more time uh, how to extract the LinkedIn no. profile? Uh, and uh, is do i have to be on on uh, on desktop uh, linkedin or can i do it from my phone the the, the mobile app uh, yeah okay so i'm not exactly sure if this extension can be downloaded on a mobile browser if it's possible then maybe you can try that but if it's not you're going to have to download this extension i think i have uh, um, uploaded this. I'll send it again on the chat. I'll also be sending this on Slack as well. So you need to install this on your browser. Then once you have installed the extension, you'll go to your profile here and make sure you are on your profile, not on LinkedIn phone, but on your profile. And once you are on your profile, you'll go to the extension, place and resume exporter that you have installed, and then click on it and then click LinkedIn profile to JSON. And when you click it, you'll be getting this JSON file for you. So you can just copy this JSON file. 
and then go to VIP, your profile, and select upload profile, and just paste whatever you have there. Then click upload. Then you'll be able to uh, get your profile uploaded to LIP, and then you'll start receiving jobs. Okay. No worries. I'll be I'll be sharing you uh, how to do this uh, a video as well as a navigation document. Okay, thank you. And uh, on the on the rating uh, part, uh, which is uh, last time, yeah, uh, said we can improve our skills uh, by providing. Uh, uh, Evidence and by going to a challenge, lead code challenge and stuff. So, does that also improve our the job scores, the math score? When the okay. our so, yeah, yeah. So currently, we we are going to be uh, actually we have evaluated the sphere level of the competencies, and there is a way that you can upload an evidence so that we can check again if if there is uh, any discrepancies with the skills sphere levels that you have assigned to each competency and the competency that you think should be uh, given for the skill you have so one way you can do that is going to uh, the upload evidence uh, the upload evidence tab and then uploading an evidence so that we can check uh, the evidence and then maybe uh, upskill maybe increase the sphere level of that that content for you uh, in regards to how uh, the lead code challenge and also other challenges that you are going to be undertaking and the scores that you are going to be having on that, the grades, uh, I think uh, maybe through time we will also be updating your sphere levels based on the submissions that you are going to be uh, providing us with. So I think yeah, you, uh, as long as you perform well, your sphere level will continue to uh increase okay any other question all right guys so uh i want you okay um, I okay Okay, so I was scanning the job, so all of the the score is I think below forty, and I was watching my uh, profile as well. So, uh, can can I uh, how can I make sure that like uh, or, or maybe changing the profile or I, I don't know how, uh, how can I proceed with that? Yeah, so the jobs uh, the match score would uh, actually it's, it's just a way that we we think how you score how you match with that job so you can continue skipping through the jobs and you'll be able to find a job that you have a certain uh, at least 80 percent more than 80 percent so i was checking this as well at some point you'll be finding jobs that actually have a higher match score uh, Since there are a lot of jobs, you'd be you'd be able to go through the jobs and get a score that you think that is above eighty percent. So here we are, we have at least fifty-eight percent. So through time, the jobs would also would also start to tailor to your profile, so that such uh, such such a match score would at least uh, have a higher degree. As uh, you start, as you continue using them, so as you skip the jobs, we'll be learning from the uh, why you are skipping this job. So maybe you are not interested in not this that fits not this and on Nexus. So we'll we'll be learning your uh, your the feedback that you are receiving from you, and through that we'll be personalizing the jobs that we are going to be um, showing to you. So hopefully you'll be seeing jobs that you have a certain higher degree of much score if you think 
that uh, profile that we have uh, given the skills the sphere levels that we have provided are lower. Maybe you can then apply an evidence and then you'll go over it. And so maybe we'll then increase the sphere level so that you'll be getting at least a higher degree of matching. But I don't think that this usually is the case. Uh, you'll be still able to find jobs that are at least greater than 80 percent so that you'll be able to generate the CVs in the families. And I want you guys to remember that this is an experimental version, and we want you just to start exploring LIP. It will be improving as time goes on. So the match score will also uh, we'd expect it to be uh, to be showing you jobs that match with your profile. So it's going to be it's going to start to be higher. Michael, is it clear? Yes, yeah, so in the in the skill there are, for example, Web3 or uh, collaboration. So does they have the same uh, gauge or uh, I don't know, how do you, like, for example, didn't do any project in Web3. So how do you know my SCPA level is one or four or? Uh, yeah. So the reason why Web3 is at the competency is we'd be using Web3 to gauge how well you perform on fronting. So it's a bit, um, it's a bit, not the right naming, but usually Web3, when you work on Web3 projects, on previous parts, there were uh, fronting parts were so, such that like HTML, JavaScript, and others. So those were graded as part of a Web3 competency. In your cohorts, there isn't any Web3 project, but still you have worked on any HTML, JavaScript, and others. So it will be included. Uh, since you have those skills, Web3 is still included. And But it does uh, indicate the skills for web and the front-end development. OK. And OK, thank you. Uh, it's over there. Uh, okay, yeah, no problem. So, so uh, I, I, I was seeing the platform, and the, I think there are three options, right? For just to uh, to like or dislike. For example, yeah. responsibility is role in quite So, I want to know what uh, exactly it means by required attributes. Like, are they on the side ones that that say relevant competencies also what if the roles are not specified so at the end you mean the role could be the for example AI engineer software engineer or something like that yeah so when it comes to giving the feedbacks here oh. it's not necessary to give every uh, every of these three. So if you just give maybe four responsibilities, it will still allow you to actually pass. So it's yeah. not necessary to give for all three, but regarding the required attributes, it's going to have to do with the required qualifications. So if you think you like the, what the qualifications for this job are, and then you can just go here and like, but if you don't think it's good, then maybe you can just uh, click on this like. So we'll be using this for two purposes. One, to give it on to the CV, so that we can uh, we can make make the CV uh, have a tone. Uh, for example, I like the responsibilities, I like the role, I like the required attributes. Such kind of uh, such kind of data would be included in the CV. But that's one purpose we have for this. The second purpose is going to be tailoring the jobs that you are going to be uh, getting. So uh, if you just yeah. like the role, maybe it will be showing you more jobs that match the role. Okay, so what I'm trying to actually understand is for for the role part, I understand, and responsibilities also could be, for example, in the on the data analysis part, it's going to be duties and responsibilities. So to give it the best I can, I have to understand. I think the options I have. So for example, the required attributes is what. I don't understand. Like, yeah. how, for example, can you give me an example from the 
from this job post data analyst or the role for data analyst what are the required attributes so okay, here are the competencies right data analysis data engineering there are multiple competencies um okay. professional communication so do you like such the competencies that we are seeing currently this job requires such competencies so okay. do you do you as a feedback do you like such competencies so if you do then you will be showing more jobs that have such competencies and also will be tailoring your cv to have a certain tone to add it to it so that it's it's uh, not generic it's a bit aligned with a with the job and it has a, a tone to it that's the two purposes we have okay so required attributes are for competency skills and understand thank you yeah all right well done get that job okay uh, I, I i want to ask about uh, the case what if we have uh, seen or we have uh, gone through a very good uh, job post on other systems or other uh, job portals so that uh, is there any way that we can include it in, the, in this our uh, in the lip portal maybe we can we need uh, this uh, optimized cv and application later for that too yeah we do we have thought about that and it's currently a work in progress so you will be able to add a link to a certain job that you have found on the internet and it would extract the job just as you see here it will give you the competencies for that job and the required attributes and others and then you'll be uh, calculating the match score as well then if that match score max greater than 80 percent and you superlight this job then the cv and the cover letter will be generated for you so that's a work in progress currently we don't have that feature but we have thought of it and it's going to be implemented okay all right any other questions yeah hilary i have seen the message i have tried to upload an evidence it's been submitted in a click update yeah, so like I said, this is an experimental version. We want you to start exploring. We'll be fixing such bugs along the way. Um, so we hope for your, we ask for your patience. And also, uh, since it's an experimental version, do expect some, maybe some breaking changes. So uh, also we want you to start applying on other sites as well. If you come along a job that you like on LIP, saying great, apply. If not, then you need to go to the sites that I mentioned on LinkedIn, indeed, these sites and also other sites if you have any other sites. The goal is to start job application and to uh, to increase the probability of landing a job. So wherever there is a job and you like that job, you want you guys to apply. It doesn't matter where it is, as long as you apply and say it's a relevant job and it's a good job that would hopefully uh, that you'll be able to land. Um, our worker, I've seen your message, so Sophia is scored by a person automatically. So we have two uh, two methods. We have both methods. So we, it's, it's scored by an algorithm first, and it's verified by a person as well. OK, any other questions? <coughs> Like. Yeah. Uh, so, how about if you, if you uh, super like a job and then find another one, but now you are out of limit and you don't want to submit the first one to apply for the first one? Can you go back or do you really have to be do, do you have to be so careful in super liking? Yeah. So, so you have ten credits per day. So. If you super like a job and the match score is better than 80%, that means the CV has been generated. And that counts towards the tail. So you have already uh, you have already used one of the credits. It won't be uh, refundable since you have already generated the CV and the cover letter for that. So make sure that you are applying, you are uh, super liking a job. And also that the match score has to be greater than 80% for this CV and cover letter to be generated. So make sure you we really want that job.
Yes, sir. Okay. okay, so I want to ask uh, wh why is that it is 80%? What is the rationale behind it? Yeah, so one of one of the reasons could be cost, right? Since we are using an LLA to generate the CV, we have a cost on our end. So if we lower the match score, maybe uh, you'd be generating CVs and cover letters that aren't going to be that useful for that job. Since the match score is lower, then maybe the probability would also of you getting that job could be lower. But we don't want that to cloud the judgment that you guys have. So if you think that even though the match score is low, but you think you are a great fit for the job, then you can go and apply to that job. Just use your own CV and cover letter. We have that uh, requirement, 80% uh, greater than 80% match score, so that we can reduce the cost for generating the CVs and the cover letters on our end. Is that clear? Uh, okay. Yeah, this is very clear. So, thank you. Okay. Yeah, but, but do remember that the match score could be sometimes off. So, if you think, if you read the job description and you read the competencies that that job re requires and you think that you are a great fit for that job, go ahead and apply. Yes, uh, so, sorry to actually okay so I, I i saw something so rational rational is if i level so it says autonomy uh, like four three yeah. one or two something like C can you explain to me is it wh what what that they what do those mean okay i'll be sharing the can you see my screen? It's, I think maybe I should increase. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have a certain level of responsibilities for sphere. So yeah. for each for each degree of sphere level, like I said, from one to seven, there are attributes. So there is autonomy, influence, complexity, knowledge, as well as business skills. So for each sphere level, these are defined. So maybe for sphere level one, being the lowest, the autonomy, the attribute for the autonomy is works under supervision, uses little discrete direction, is expected to seek guidance in unexpected situations. So this is the lowest level. So we have the definition for each uh, for each attribute here. For influence, it's minimal influence, may work alone, or interact with immediate colleagues and others. And also for complexity, performance routine activities in a structured environment, requires assistance in resolving unexpected problems. So this is the lowest level. If we go to the highest level, which is seven, and you check the autonomy, it's at the highest organizational level, has authority over all aspects of a significant area of work, including policy information and others. If you check the influence, makes decisions critical to organizational success, inspires the organization and influences development within the company, within the industry at the highest level. So such are the descriptions for the attributes. So one being the lowest sphere level, there is a certain description for, say, autonomy say influence, say complexity, knowledge, and business skills. When it goes to level seven, then those also have certain uh, descriptions assigned to them. So the more uh, you are, uh, the, the more you are, you have an expertise in, in a certain competency, the higher the sphere level it is. So the, the higher the autonomy, influence, complexity, knowledge, and business skills you have. So, this is uh, what the autonomy and others has been defined on it. I hope it's clear now. Uh, yes. So, like, there is a score, for example, a sphere, a sphere level four, and yeah. also rational sphere level four. So, what is this the average and the detailed one? What What is that? So you're seeing this, right? Yeah. So basically, if it's a sphere level is three, then every other aspect of this is going to be three. So autonomy is going to be three, influence is three, everything is going to be three. If you say different, let's say it is also three, it is also three. So this job requires a sphere level three for these competencies. So 
it shouldn't it shouldn't change so autonomy and others uh, attributes influence and other attributes that we defined are going to have the same sphere level that's going to be declared here so it's going to be sphere as well here we have four so this four is going to be same as uh, all the force that you are seeing here so is it what the job requires or what we have yeah. No, so it, here you are seeing what the job requires. So these are the competencies for the job. What you have is going to be available on your profile under skills. Here you have the sphere level for you, your skills, your competencies as well. So are, are we are we like uh, going back here for force to actually see what we have or? Not necessarily, okay. because you have the match score. The match score basically does. It's, okay. it's going to be matching your sphere level with that. Okay, I understand. Okay, thank you. Very much. Any other question? Um, okay, Sheila. Um, just a question. Um, on the on the right side of the platform, on the right side of the platform, there's that um. Disclaimer whereby that you can influence your next job query. Would you advise us to like well you include some terms and you exclude? Would you advise us to use that option? Yeah. So here you have an influence your next job query. So this will influence at least the next five jobs. I don't think currently it's going to do that. But what we thought is maybe if you have a certain preference that you are going that you want to be included in the at least maybe in the next five jobs. Then you can include it here and just write what kind of jobs you want to be included and what kind of jobs you don't want to be included here. And then you just click add, and then those jobs that you are going to be seeing next are going to be filtered based on the uh, query you have provided. But currently, I don't think it's currently implemented yet, but we have that on the roadmap, and you just can play with it. You just include any, any jobs that you want, you can exclude any jobs that you don't want, and to complete the system and see if it's better to include or exclude. Okay. Um, if we like many jobs, can we be able to find some the next day? Yeah. So here we have my jobs section, and then you have the engagements part. So on the engagements, you should be able to see uh, the jobs that you have interacted with. So it shouldn't disappear. Okay. Some are different. Uh, I don't think I understand what you're saying, Mister. Is there any documents that we can read to get a better understanding of C of the what? You'll be sharing your little navigation document so that you understand everything that's inside it. If that's what you're asking, Abraham. Okay, okay. So let's say we get 80%. So, how can we proceed? Can you show us how to, how to get, how to generate the CV and the data? Can you come again? I don't hear you. So how can we proceed after getting the job we want or get uh, the 80% match? Yeah, so yeah. generate the CV and the data. So it's going to be basically applying to the job. Here you have a view details button. Currently, some jobs don't include the application link, but hopefully that will be uh, fixed soon. And then you click on the view details button, and it will take you to the job, uh, to the site where the job is posted. It could be on LinkedIn or any other sites. Then once you go there, when it asks for when it asks you for a generated uh, CV, maybe for CV and cover letter. You can find those on the lift uh, tab here. So currently, we don't have any jobs that we super liked and have a match score better than 80%. That's why we are not finding any. But at the moment those two, those two conditions are satisfied, you'll find them here. And you can then click on the CV or the CL link. And it, it will take you directly to the generated CV and the cover letter. And you can download that and use that. All right, Michael. Oh, Michael. 
Hopefully it's Mikhail. Okay. Um, any other questions? Is there any difference? Okay, I will answer the results. So through time, it's going to be getting better. We just want you to start applying today. If you haven't already, please to start applying and also explore Lit. And uh, we'll be improving Lit as uh, time goes on. Okay. If there's no any other questions, then maybe you can end the session. Just please remember the goal. The goal is to apply to jobs and land a job. Land an interview, get an offer, and get a job. All right. So then.